What does solar energy mean? Solar power is the process of turning the sun's light into heat or electricity. Make sure you have subscribed to our channel before we move on. In the past, solar technology has used two different ways to turn solar energy into electricity. One of the ways is to use photovoltaic panels or mirrors that focus the sun's rays. Solar energy can be used in the same ways as regular electricity, but it is renewable, doesn't run out, and might be cheaper than other types of electricity. It can be used to heat water, cook food, and do anything else that electricity can do. Solar cells are used to gather and store energy from the sun so that it can be used later. What does Solar 3.0 mean? The amount of electricity made by solar and wind power has gone up a lot, and solar technology keeps getting better. To get energy from the sun, two main types of solar cells are used. Solar energy is made possible by solar cells, which collect photons from the sun. It starts an electrochemical reaction that makes electricity. The most common type of solar cell is made of crystalline silicon. Nearly 95% of all modules sold and used today are made of this silicon-based solar cell. Silicon has been used as the standard because, after oxygen, it is the most common material on Earth. Atoms of silicon are arranged in a crystal lattice to make up these silicon-based cells. This part of the module makes it better at turning light into electricity. The other main type of solar cell is called a thin film cell. Perovskites are used in these thin film cells. Their crystal structure is the same as that of the mineral calcium titanium oxide. Perovskites are the next generation of solar energy, called Solar 3.0. The layers of photovoltaic materials in these perovskite-based thin film cells are held together by a glass, metal, or plastic substrate. These film solar cells are different from others because they can bend and change. Scientists have also made materials that have similar or the same properties as perovskites. To make these solar cells, they can use either lead iodide or organic salts, which are both semiconductors. If it were possible to make these properties from other substances, it could be even better than silicon. Most of the time, solar cells are less than 30% efficient, most silicon semiconductor solar cells work between 20 and 25 percent of the time. Using perovskites can make electricity generation more efficient and give off more power. Is solar paint the future of clean energy? Solar cell development continues to advance. In 2014, the first spray-on solar cells were made at the University of Sheffield in the UK. The U.S. solar industry spent more than $150 billion on research and development in 2016. Solar paint could be one of the best things to happen in the field of renewable energy. Solar paint for future use, scientists are working on hydrogen, quantum dot solar cells or photovoltaic paint, and perovskite solar paint. All of these different versions of solar paint work in different ways. Solar paint that contains hydrogen takes in water from the air and uses the sun's energy to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen and oxygen are then used to make energy. Quantum dots work like nanoscale semiconductors in that they take in light and make an electric current. Solar panels with quantum dots could be 11% more efficient than the ones we use now. Perovskite solar paint, which is also called spray on solar cells, is made from the mineral calcium titanium oxide or, as we've already said, from organic salts. These solar cells can be made in a liquid form, which makes them even easier to use as paint. These solar paints can help a wide range of businesses and organizations set up or improve a solar energy system. The data center industry continues to prioritize data center sustainability. The development of new technologies for renewable energy will be good for all industries, not just the data center business. Solar cells can be put on roofs and walls to give organizations more energy sources. This new idea could change how we think about renewable energy, and it could be used in many places. While it may be difficult to anticipate all of this to be accomplished in the coming year, we must begin. Nicholas Hewlett, the French minister in charge of the environment and energy, remarked in December at a symposium on corporate investment in renewables, Sometimes it takes a little time to tune our violins. If you liked today's video then feel free to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel.